Welcome to FIG's weekly trading and economic update. I'm Mark Bailey and this is Jessica Russett. Mark, last week we had retail sales released domestically. The RBA had their monthly meeting keeping rates on hold and the ECB met on Thursday night. What was your take on it all? Yeah, look, retail sales I think came in line with expectations at 0.4%. Uh, in terms of the RBA statement, still very, very upbeat in terms of uh, Philip Lowe's um, commentary on the domestic markets and also internationally as well. So that's continuing the, the theme that he's painted. Uh, I think as well, you've got to be a bit cautious about some of the house prices and they're trying to control that in terms of um, the dynamics of the interest rates and you also you had an interesting note from APRA as well kind of putting a bit of pressure on the banks in terms of some of their lending criteria as well and yes last night on, on Thursday night you had the ECB announcing that they were going to keep rates unchanged they were going to cut back on QE as planned but Draghi was still very dovish in terms of you know, what he would do um, for, the, uh, for the Eurozone as and when necessary. You are seeing a bit of an uptick in terms of CPI, so that's going to help him there in terms of pulling back and, and giving him justification for that. But I still see economic growth out of, out of Europe has been pretty soft. So Jess, what's been keeping you busy this week? There's been a, a few more buybacks announced, which obviously isn't helping investors with piles of cash to invest already. That's correct. So it was another week of short supply and oversubscribed new issuance that hit the market. And as you said, there seems to be more buybacks than actually new issues being released at the moment. And two buybacks that were announced at the market were one from McPherson's and one for um, Iron Gold. So McPherson's Limited announced a 60% partial redemption of its March 2019 floating rate bond and that's at a principal amount of 103%. So this is higher than where the bond had been trading prior to the announcement and then post the announcement the bond spiked in price and it's improved by $2 in price terms. So that's a really yeah. good outcome for and, clients. And was that the call? The, was that the call date at 103? Was that a, a Yeah, call? that's correct. Okay. That, so that's a 103 yeah. call price for clients. And so it is actually being called at its first optional call price at uh, call date and that is the 31st of March 2017. The other one I mentioned which is in the US dollar denominated space is I am gold. And I am gold is doing a full redemption of its October 2020 US dollar bond and that is uh, after it has successfully completed a 2025 maturity 400 million US dollar new offering and those funds are going to be used to call back and buy back this 2020 bond. Now the 2020 bond has a call price of 103 spot 375 and once again this is also higher than where the bond had been trading prior to the news and so clients get a little bit more gain, a little bit cash back which is a great outcome. Yep. On the back of the news it too spiked in price and the price has gone up $2 as well. So it's also a great outcome for clients and the expected redemption date for the 2020 bond for Iron Gold is going to be the third of April 2017. So in the meantime clients are still able to trade both of these bonds, switch out of those positions and reinvest into other bonds and the beauty of doing that now is that clients are able to take advantage of supply already out on the market rather than waiting until after the call date and being in competition with other investors trying to find a home for these readily available funds. And the other benefit of it also is to lock in a yield now rather than being at the mercy of any market movement over the next coming weeks while we wait for that call yeah. date. So it's kind of a bittersweet because you're getting cash back at a, a really good price, Correct. but you probably don't want cash back. So you've got to try and find another home for it to reinvest. Exactly, that's right. So it's really better to maybe have a look now and line up that order and avoid any reinvestment risk. So all eyes are going to be on the US. We have non-farm payrolls being released and that's in the lead up to the Fed meeting as well. Talk us through it. Yes, there's a lot of important data coming out in the next few days before the Fed meeting, as you say, next week. So on Friday, we've got the non-farm payrolls, market consensus for 200,000 jobs to be created. And also we've got CPI and retail sales. CPI is probably uh, flat on a headline basis, 0.2% on core. And retail sales, uh, excluding fuel, is expected to be marginally positive at 0.1%. So those are the, the key three data points. And to be honest, yes, they've probably got to be massively out of whack with what is happening in terms of consensus expectations for there to be a change in the Fed's thinking. The market is pricing in 95 to 100% chance that they do hike rates in March next week. And that's unless we get some really strange figures coming out from those three data points, I think that's going to be the case. 
um, you know, kind of looking beyond that, it'd be interesting to see if there's any commentary in terms of the gradual uh, pace of interest rate hikes going forward, but I don't think there'll be a lot of change. Janet Yellen had a couple of commentaries out there where she was basically saying March is a done deal, but that doesn't imply that we're going to speed up any future rate hikes. But again, it'll have a big impact in terms of the curve, and we've seen those um, interest uh, rate yields on the Treasuries increasing this week, uh, pretty significantly over the last couple of days, kind of 10, 15 basis points higher in the 10 year, and also it'll impact the currency and where the Aussie dollar trades in, in relation to the US. So there'll be important uh, data points looking forward in, in the statement. Thanks, Jess. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for watching. Tin hats on. Enjoy.